Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. This is Lisa Maria, your host, and today we're going to talk about recognizing your dream self and understanding the characters and the roles they play in your dreams. Because understanding more about the role you take in your dreams will help you to understand your fears and wishes. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Hello, and welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. This is Lisa Maria, your host. And we're talking about recognizing your dream self and also analyzing dream characters. Understanding more about the role you take in your dreams will help you understand your fears and your wishes. You know, Each part of your dream is an aspect of yourself. The roles, characters, and situations that you find yourself in. Right down to the weather and the creatures that inhabit your dreams. Every part of the dream is a product of your own making and has something to say to you. You have your own dream language. And as you're listening to this, you're probably thinking about a very complicated combination of symbols. This imagery is the code on which your personal dream language is based. Your dream world uses a language that is predominantly visual, but will use all the senses to construct a pictorial or a movie type of message. So connecting with the conscious is very important because when big changes happen in your life, you will have dramatic epic dreams that scare, enlighten, or reassure you in some way or form. Recognizing that each aspect of the dream is communicating a message to your conscious waking life will help you to piece together the meaning of who you are in the dream. Now, I promise, learning about your dreams is going to help you understand how to use all the senses to construct or understand the symbols that spirit sends you. So there is a purpose to me teaching you about your dreams and and how to recognize symbols in them and codes so to speak so please be aware that even though i'm talking about dreams you can also use this as a psychic ability learning system because we're recognizing how to read symbols Okay, so bear with me through this. It's really important and it's a big part of opening your psychic abilities because when we sleep, our ego sleeps. And a lot of times we receive messages from spirit in our dreams. So if we learn how to recognize these signs and recognize or analyze our dreams, then we are able to receive those messages from spirit. So let's move on. Some dreams show a fragmented representation of yourself, splitting aspects of your personality into different characters. Life is a stage show, a variety act, and in your dreams, you are all the characters in the performance. Sometimes it's a tragedy, sometimes a comedy, but always it is about you. You are the producer, the director, and the cast of your dreams. It's important that you recognize whether or not you are a main participant in your dream. This will give a clue as to how involved you are in the situation in your waking life that has inspired or prompted the dream. So a character from real life may enter your dreams as an animal, such as a cat or a dog, or a dangerous panther or a snake. Sometimes you may not be able to recognize a dream character. 
These shadowy images represent aspects of yourself that are not yet defined. So the form that you take in the dream tells of your psychological needs and desires. Other characters are reflections of your feelings about aspects of your personality. So let's review some of them. One, shadow personalities. A shadow personality contains unwanted or undeveloped traits. Your own personality traits are pushed into the dark recesses of the mind, but can surface in your dreams as a lurking beast, the lustful harlot, or even a sewer rat. If you take on the role of a famous person, for example, an artist, that this emphasizes your innit creative talents. Number two, stage of life. Identifying yourself as a character of your own sex, but at a younger or older age than you are right now, can mirror your personal development. For example, a woman who dreams of being a very old woman may be coming to the end of a phase in her life, but dreaming of yourself as a young child may simply hark back to a time when you felt more protected and secured. Then this suggests that you spend time nurturing yourself. Number three, male and female. If you dream that you are someone of the opposite sex, you are trying to develop a balance of the opposite qualities. Thus, a man understands and appreciates feminine traits and vice versa. To become an androgynous or sexless figure in a dream indicates that unity, integration, and wholeness have been achieved. Number four, animal disguises. If you dream of being a land animal, a bird, insect, or other creature, your dream is reflecting a struggle with your so-called animal instincts. Many animals also have stereotypical and cultural associations too, such as the dirty rat, the chauvinist pig, and the stubborn mule. Look at the context of the dream to decode the exact meaning of your animal disguise. For example, does the animal represent a quality that you crave? Like the freedom of a bird, perhaps? Or is the dream trying to tell you that your behavior is in some way derogatory? Number five, reflecting your qualities. Your family, friends, and acquaintances may all appear in your dreams to highlight a particular quality or deficiency within your own character. That it, This is mirroring back and making you aware of a good or a bad trait. In your dreams, the search for the ideal partner often reflects your own need to mix your anima, your female side, and your animus, your male side. This complete personality often takes on the form of a supreme character, appearing in the guise of a god, a goddess, a hero, or heroine. So now let's start looking at how you can analyze your dream characters. Because when you see a character in your dream, they could remind you of a particular person or a situation. The answers may reveal hidden truths about your life. Your waking life is a perpetual flux of rapid changes and involves many different relationships. At any one time, you can be consciously and subconsciously processing feelings and thoughts about yourself and other people, as well as the circumstances involved in any given situation. What you process will enter your dream world as points of reference and form characters that you can relate to. It may even manifest in your dreams as people you know in your waking life. There's also something called symbolic personalities. Dream characters can act as stand-ins, representing a situation or quality that needs assessment. They allow you to avoid any biases you might feel when you're awake and present a clear picture of a situation or of a person's true nature. Characters that appear in your dreams can also symbolically mirror 
the emergence of Latin abilities and talents within yourself. And dreaming of people that you know in real life tends to highlight specific personal qualities. For example, a mother or father may represent authority, guidance, or even nurturing. So why does the cast of your dreams change? The cast of your dreams will change in relation to the circumstances and qualities that are drawn from your real life and explored while you sleep. For example, situations that you find yourself in and how you feel about yourself during your dream will influence the types of characters that accompany you. Each encounter in your waking life generates a new symbol in the dictionary of your subconscious. So your dream cast changes and grows as you do. Dream characters are not always representative of a person in real life. Instead, they may draw your attention to something you need to reconsider. Dream characters whether personal or abstract, can provide possible interpretations of qualities and situations that you need to reconsider or revive in your waking life. Let's review a few different dream characters that may be familiar to you. Family members. Mothers represent a need for nurture and protection and may also suggest an enhancement or intuition. Fathers represent authority and discipline and may suggest a need for logic. Grandparents indicate that you have much to learn from the wisdom of knowledge and experience. A son expresses pride in an achievement. A daughter often means that you need to support someone either at home or at work. To dream of a husband indicates a decline in your relationship for a single woman, but for a married woman, it can confirm the bonds of marital love. Number two is friends and lovers. To see old school friends in your dream often indicates that old scores need to be settled or can represent triumphs. To dream of current close friends, however, signifies protection with allied interests and bonds of mutual trust between you and the friends that appeared. A favorable conversation with an acquaintance foretells enterprising success, whereas a hostile confrontation with them denotes that personal humiliation may be on the horizon. To dream of your lover implies admiration and joy. Work Colleagues Consider the following questions to glean insight from your colleagues in the dream. Who are they in relation to you? What are they saying? How are you relating to them? How do the contents of your dream correlate to the proposals at work? Dreaming of a colleague from a previous job reflects qualities in your life that need to be revived in order to move forward. Authority figures. An old teacher turning up in your dream suggests that you must make a stand for your beliefs and that there is a pressing situation that demands your focus. To dream of the police could signify that you will soon receive help from a source of authority. The appearance of a judge during your slumber indicates that you will be involved in some impartial decision making. Fantasy characters. A clown or a jester in your dream can represent qualities of lightheartedness and independence. A hermit represents feelings of isolation and a need to make some long-term plans. Dreaming of dwarves may be a subconscious reassurance that a problem is not as big as it seems. And whether regarding relationships or business, a pirate in your dream can herald a craving for emotional adventure. The last one is celebrities. To dream of celebrity is to wish to take on the lifestyle of that star. As an omen, such dreams can foretell of honor and promotion. 
A TV personality represents your desire for a wider appeal and popularity among your peers. To dream of a movie star or a rock icon can represent a warning to avoid the trap of becoming deluded by a projected glamorous self-image. This dream is asking you to take a stand back from your current place in life and reconnect with your true divine self. Well, don't forget now, I have a dream log that you can download at www.spiritualonlinecourses.org forward slash free dash resources. Don't forget to go get your freebie because that dream log or dream analyzer, so to speak, is going to help you identify your, not just identify, but build your own dream dictionary because it's got all the different things on there. It's a three-page dream analyzer and I created it myself and uh, just because of the fact that I have such vivid dreams and I wanted to know what everything meant. So, and again, dreams, you can receive a lot of different messages through your dreams from spirit. So, you want to be able to recognize your dreams. And again, this is why I'm going through this series of dream podcasts. Because it's so important. Because you need to be able to identify messages from spirit through symbols, pictures, images, and numbers. So, don't forget, this is all part of opening your psychic abilities. It's really important to be able to identify symbols, pictures, and images as metaphors. Because everything is not always as it seems. Okay, my loves? Well, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. And I will talk to you next time. Don't forget to get your freebie. And don't forget to subscribe And follow my podcast so you get alerts every time I upload something new. I'll talk to you in the next podcast. Namaste. Are you looking for guidance in your life? Are you trying to figure out what your next step is? Book a psychic reading with psychic medium and spiritual teacher Lisa Moria who offers personal readings along with discounted home parties and events. Readings are available online or in person. For more information, visit www.lisamaria.com. That's www.lisamaria.com. Or you can contact Lisa directly at readingrequest at lifeyou.me. That is readingrequest at L-I-F-E-Y-O-U dot M-E. Start changing your life today.